Hi everybody, my name is Jay Morielli. This tutorial will provide an overview of how to lay out graphene FETs and test devices on a purchased graphene wa wafer using Layout Editor. First, the graphene wafer consists of a 100 millimeter P-doped silicon wafer with 285 to 300 nanometers of silicon dioxide dielectric on top of it. Then CVD grown graphene is transferred to the silicon dioxide layer. This figure shows the dye plan. The dye are about five millimeters square. The array of dye are centered in the center of the wafer that is, and it's also centered in the middle of the quartz mask. There's a five millimeter keep out uh, area around the ring of the wafer for alignment and lithography purposes. And there's also a seven millimeter keep out area around the edge of the mask for mass fabrication purposes. The dye will be diced so they can be placed into a package. Selected bonding pads will be wire bonded to leads of the package. This figure shows an example of the packaging concept uh, for a 10 pin package. Only pads that are wire bonded out are shown for simplicity. The uh, package will be placed on a PC board with microstrip traces to RF connectors for testing. A heat sink may be present to control the temperature of the package and the dye during this testing. Here is the dye design rules and geometry I plan to use during the uh, layout tutorials. The tool set determines the minimum dye geometry. The wire bonder determines the um, pad to pad spacing and the size of the pads. And the die sink saw determines the spacing between die and the uh, trace width and the trace uh, spacing is determined by the resolution of the mask. Um, I will use 160 micron saw lanes, 110 pad to saw center lane distance spacing, 180 micron spacing between bonding pads, 100 micron square bonding pads, a 1 micron trace width, and a 1 micron trace to trace spacing. The process starts out with the silicon, silicon dioxide graphene wafer. On top, a uh, top layer dielectric is grown using ALD. This will likely be silicon dioxide. The top layer silicon dioxide also protects the graphene channel areas from photoresist contamination for highest performance. Mask one will be used to remove graphene and dielectric where it's not wanted. It will form the graphene device structure. The top dielectric will be removed using a wet etch process. And then the graphene layer that's exposed will be removed moved using a uh, microwave plasma etcher with oxygen plasma. Gra uh, mass number two will re expose, remove dielectric to expose the graphene layer for contacts and then mass number three will be used to pattern the contacts of the uh, on the exposed graphene layers for source and drain Oops, and then f also provide contacts for the gate. The die will consist of a number of structures, mostly gra graphene fats, but will also include a number of test structures such as a hall bar structure, a van der Poel structure, and a contact resistance structure. Uh, maybe a few dual gate FETs with a common source will be constructed at some point as well. Most of the wafer will be 
uh, graphene FETs. The uh, contact resistance structure gives information about the sheet resistance, contact resistivity, and transfer length. The hall bar structure gives information about the resistivity, sheet carrier density, and hall mobility. And the van der Poel structure gives information about um, graphene resistivity. Uh, please see Professor Lundstrom's lectures on near equilibrium measurements for more details on these structures. Okay, so the tools I expect to use are a SUSTEC, uh, a SUS Microtech MA6 uh, contact microliner, an SNK wire bonder, a disco uh, dicing saw, Oxford instrument ALD system to deposit the top layer dielectric. Denton E beam evaporator to deposit metal contacts. Uh, dielectrics will be removed by wet etch, and gra uh, graphene will be removed using a plasma microwave plasma um, etching system. Um, the photoresist will be spin coated um, using. Uh, will be spin coated. Uh, it's usually spin coated at one micron thickness. The photoresist that exposed through the to UV light through the mask will be removed when developed. Openings in the photoresist will allow removal of materials such as dielectric and graphene, or addition of materials such as metals um, during uh, metal deposition. The graphene wafers can be purchased from a number of vendors. It's best to contact the vendors for more information on the uh, composition and, and configuration of their, on their wafers. I uh, expect to use 127 millimeter 5 inch fuse quartz mask that's um, 90 mil thick with chrome on the back and a 100 nanometer fracture grid for this process. Um, again, mass number one removes dielectric and graphene. Mass number two removes just dielect top dielectric. And mass number three is used to pattern contacts. For more information, please see Professor Lundstrom's Near Equilibrium Measurements 1 and 2. That's lectures 17 and 18 at the Nano Hub. The paper on metal semiconductor contact resistance measurements. And the packaging and bonding note from Delft Institute. Thank you very much, and the actual layout tutorials will be posted shortly.